Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with my fifth Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. Uh, so we are just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So this one is going to be against Kevin, another random person offline. And as you can see, I am using the uh, same team I have been using uh, for the past couple of games. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at his team there. Uh, pretty interesting looking squad there. So, what do I want to lead with? Hmm. Hmm. Probably just going to lead with the Perserker. And then we'll get on our way here. All right, so here we go. Let's see how it goes. So there he is, Kevin, and he is going to lead with the Drapion. So that's actually not too bad for me since I did lead the Perserker. So I'm just going to fake out um, to get that chip damage. So that'll take him down by a little bit. Mandatory flinch, and he gets some HP back with the Black Sludge. Hmm, I could... I am max physical defense, so uh, not really fearing anything from this thing, so we'll just Iron Head and see how much it does. He is going to Toxic Spike. So he does get that set up on me. Iron Head's going to do a lot, take him to a quarter, but he does survive. Gets the Black Sludge recovery. He definitely can't take another one, so he could switch, but I don't know if he really will. Well, just I think I'm going to U-turn just in case. Oh, he does switch. And he's going to bring the Seismitoad. So actually that works out. So I'm going to U-turn here. Get some nice chip. Actually, that did a lot. I do take some Rocky Helmet damage. That took him down by about a third, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, I'll come in with the Poltegeist here. Good old tea bag. So I'll take the Poison. And then I take the poison damage. So, I could just take him out with a Giga Drain here. He might predict that. I don't know. I could Shell Smash predicting a switch. That would be risky if he attacks. I probably can't take an attack after being poisoned. I'll just play it safe in Giga Drain. See what he's gonna do. Okay, cool. So he stays in and he's just gonna get taken out with that. And that'll put me back up to full momentarily. So that'll be it for the Seismitoad. That'll drop him to five Pokemon. So that's pretty good. I do take some poison damage once again. But it's only a normal poison, it is not a badly poison, so it won't rack up on me. So that is nice. So he's gonna come back. The Drapion. I don't know if I can outspeed this thing or not, honestly. Not sure. I forget. Hmm. It is a risk. I think he might be faster, actually. So it's kind of a risk. Staying in. I kind of don't want to lose this. Um, I'll just switch in with the Obstagoon. There shouldn't really be much of anything he can do to me here. And I'll take the regular poison in case he decides to set Toxic Spikes again. Well, there's the Throat Chop, so 
That's not going to do too much. He does regain some HP from the Black Sludge. And I do take the poison damage. Now, I kind of have a choice to make here because I am Scarfed. I know I'm going to outspeed, but I have to be careful what I lock myself into since he does have that Dragapult, which is immune to what I would like to lock myself into, which is the double edge. Mm. It's also immune to the close combat, which is also have to go for one or the other, actually, so I might as well just double edge. Hope he doesn't switch, because neither of my other attacks would be enough to take him out, even from that range, I don't think. But the double edge will take him out there, and that'll drop him down to four Pokemon. So I do take some recoil, no big deal. Um, that'll take some more poison. That's not too big of a deal either. So, uh, things are going pretty good so far. Um, let's see how he is going to respond to that. I still have all six of my Pokemon intact to his four, so um, that is pretty nice. Although he does have the Toxic Spike up, which uh, will be wearing me down uh, little by little. So, he's going to come in with the Senta Scorch. So this thing is kind of bulky, so I'm not positive if I can take it out in one shot, but I am max physical attack with the reckless ability. Um, so I think I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it and see if it'll how much damage it'll do. So I definitely outspeed, and it is not quite enough to take him out, unfortunately. Knocks him all the way to the red, though. Um, and then after a leech life, that will definitely finish me off. That was good, though, because um, I did a lot of damage to this thing, so I'm happy with that. Um, but he doesn't get too much HP back either, because all the recoil I took. But that'll be it for Obstagoon. That'll drop me down to five. Um, but that is okay. Um, I think we'll come in with the... Cramorant here. And then we can just kind of well, actually. Yeah, I did take out the Seismitoad, so I can surf for free here. And I do outspeed also, which is nice. So the surf will definitely knock him out. And. I'll get that Gulp Missile locked and loaded. So that'll drop him down to three Pokemon. That is good. So his three to my five, looking pretty good. And I do have the Gulp Missile locked and loaded also. So he does have the Gorgeist. So he's going to see my leftovers. Not really a big deal. Well, I... Yeah, there's no reason not to just stay in an air slash here. Let's see what he's got up his sleeve. He actually outspeeds me. That's unfortunate. A rock slide will do a little under half, so that's not too bad. He's going to hit my gulp missile, which is going to take about a quarter health away and cut his defense. I do love that thing. I love Cramorant. Um, but he does get the flinch, actually. That sucks. So he flinches me there. So can't do anything, but I do get the leftovers recovery. Uh, yeah, there's no reason not to just air slash again. Hopefully he doesn't get another rock slide flinch. Oh, I outspeed him this time. So it's actually a speed tie, I think. Ooh, he just lives on a sliver. That sucks. He's going to foul play, but that's not going to do too much. And then I get the leftovers recovery. So he might have been predicting a switch there on my side, but no reason not to stay in. So he just lived with that one HP survive. That kind of sucks. Um, what does he have left? The Dragapult and the double. Just gonna surf to get that gulp missile. Hopefully I win the speed tie again. And, oh, he's just going to Shadow Sneak, actually. So, that's okay. The Surf will definitely take him out from where he is. And that'll get my 
Gulp missile locked and loaded with a Pikachu this time. Of course I get the crit on one HP, which of course didn't matter. Um, that'll drop him to two Pokemon, that's pretty good. Um, I gained some health back from the leftovers. Got about a third left, and uh, we got the Gulp missile locked and loaded with the Pikachu this time. So um, anything that hits me is going to take a, a Paralyze. So that is pretty sweet. Gotta love that Cramorant, I'll tell ya. So there's the Dragapults coming out. So I'm probably not going to get an attack off, but we're going to click Ice Beam just in case he tries to pull something cute like a Dragon Dance, which he does go for. So um, that's going to give him the attack and speed raise. So we're going to nail him with this Ice Beam here. And that will not quite take him out. Put him in the red, which is nice. And now... Uh, he cannot survive, I believe, uh, the Gulp Missile damage, so that is pretty incredible, actually. So, uh, probably shouldn't have tried to set up there, but, um, you know, greed is a thing that a lot of players have. So, um, he'll hit me with that Dragon Dart, and that will definitely take me out. But, Gulp Missile coming your way, which is going to revenge kill the Dragapult as well. So... Um, that will knock me down to uh, four, him to one, I believe. Uh, he does have the double left. Um, so I think we're going to come in. We'll come in with the Boltund. Def should definitely be fit to handle this thing. And I do take the poison, no big deal. So we'll Thunder Fang. So I am adamant, max attack, life orb boosted. Um, take the life orb damage. I actually get the flinch, which was nice. But he is going to uh, regain some HP with the leftovers, take some damage from the poison. So, uh,. We're just going to try to wear him down farther with that Thunder Fang here. So that should definitely be a 3 hit KO. That'll take him down to about a third to take more damage. Oh, he's going to Cotton Guard, though. Hmm. So he gets a d drastic defense increase. So that's not good. Definitely going to be doing far less damage now. I don't know if this thing gets a recovery move or not, but I guess we're going to find out. So now the Thunder Fang definitely won't take him out after that. Take more damage, and he's going to Cotton Guard again. He's got to have some type of recovery move, I would think. Maybe. So the poison and life orb is taking its toll on me for sure. Just gonna keep clicking Thunder Fang. Let's see what happens. That's barely gonna do anything now. And oh, he's got body press. So maybe he doesn't maybe this thing doesn't get a recovery move, I don't know. But that's gonna finish off the Boltund. That'll drop me to three Pokemon. He does get that. Uh, leftovers recovery once again, but luckily I do still have um, one special attacker in the form of my Pulte Geist. So I have to go for Giga Drain actually because Shadow Ball doesn't have any effect and Psy Shock deals physical damage. I should outspeed this thing, I don't think it's very fast. Oh, he's going to Dynamax, though. Okay. Hopefully I can take him down. Maybe I should have Dynamaxed, too. But Dynamax is technically banned at this point, so um, I usually try to wait for my opponent to Dynamax first. Uh, well, there's a Max Darkness. Probably not going to live that. That sucks. And he gets a crit. Don't think it mattered. Well, that does suck. 
Well then, what to do now? That'll drop me to two Pokemon. Um, guess we're gonna go for Rillaboom, since I do pack a fighting move. And I get poisoned. Well, I guess it's Dynamax time on my side with a Max Knuckle. He is sitting at plus six defense, which is pretty crazy. But hopefully I can wear him down here. So here comes the Dynamax Rillaboom to combat the Dynamax Double. So this thing's defense is going to be through the roof, but um, I should outspeed, which I do, so we'll see how much this Max Knuckle does. Eh. That might even be a 2-3 to three hit KO from that range. Yikes. You hit me with a max darkness, and that's not going to do much of anything. So I definitely should be able to wear him down at this rate, but that does drop my special defense. But I believe this thing is a physical attacker, so I'm going to take the poison damage as well. So no reason not to just max knuckle again. Oh, uh, he's going to max guard to burn another turn, but I believe this is his last turn um, with Dynamax, so that'll get him some more leftovers recovery and another turn of poison damage, but yeah, that's all for his Dynamax, so I still have, I think, one more uh, turn of Dynamax to hopefully take him out with a max knuckle at plus one. This is coming off Drain Punch, though it is not the strongest, and he is as plus six defense, but okay, that is going to be enough, fortunately. Whew. Okay, that got grindy there at the end, but that is going to be game. Whew. All right, so we're going to get that win 2-0 versus Kevin, so very nice. And uh, we're going to take his league card, and we're going to quit. So that's going to do it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles. Also, this is actually going to be uh, the last battle that I post with this team. I am going to try to do uh, fewer battles per team um, this generation, uh, limiting myself to uh, five versus uh, in the past it's been six, seven, and more. Um, so a little bit less this time around. Um, Probably not going to do quite as many Wi-Fi battles either, but uh, that kind of remains to be seen. So, uh, But yeah, starting up next time, I am going to be back with a brand new team for you guys. So uh, stay tuned for that. That's it, and we'll see you next time.